You are so talented, so smart. You are the last. Good morning. It is. It is. It's Monday. I just got back from my spring break, which I didn't film at all. I went to Boston for half the week, and then I was like at my parents' house the second half of the week. But I mostly just took it easy and like chilled, and I didn't really want to film that. This is the hardest part of the day because I have a 9:30 on um, Mondays, and I want to go to breakfast before. But I'm having a very hard time getting out of bed because of executive dysfunction problems. Like, the floor is right there. I can just get out of bed and put on clothes and go get food so I won't be hungry during my first class. But my brain is just not. This is also what I look like right after I wake up. See my eye bags and my just took it out of a ponytail hair. That's now green. So I got um, a mail notification while I was still home. And a, I visited my aunt in Boston. Um, and while I was there, I learned that she, while she was in college, her roommate, uh, I guess, wrote a, a movie about them. It was a movie about her and her roommate written by her roommate. If this is what I think it is, I'm like 97 and a half percent sure it is. It's so that movie. Broadway Damage. In an age where cynicism is considered cool, New York City is the perfect backdrop for three determined friends attempting to take the town by storm. Mark dreams of that big Broadway break. Songwriter Robert dreams of Mark. And shopaholic Cynthia, played by Mara Hobel from Mommy Dearest, um, which I guess is a well-known movie, uh, Cynthia being my aunt, uh, dreams of landing her fantasy job at the top. When reality intervenes, the fun begins in this delightful tale of unrequited love and relentless optimism. Vlogging in the hallway, because that's not weird at all. I'm excited, I'm off to dinner with my partner Cam, who I haven't seen since the end of February. I saw them once for like half an hour. And I'm excited because I miss them. Uh, I'm not going to my first class because I have a thing this evening which uh, for my living learning community that's essentially it's poetry after Pulse because it's the one year anniversary of the Pulse shooting um, and I know that I will not have the social energy to do my morning class uh, which is my philosophy class because I'm also having a minor depression day um, so I have a, I had my midterm due so I had to turn that in and then I have a statistics and public policy class um, which is going to be a quiz that's it I'm at 2% again do you have a uh, charge flag tomorrow? for 5 minutes? yeah <laughs> The men who are men and remain comfortable in being the men they are. Their wrongs no longer have a house, but the feather found on the sidewalk imprisons them. <laughs> 